In this tutorial, we're going to cover exposing web services to the internet using Cloudflare D. Why Cloudflare D? Well, first of all, there's the cost. It's free. It doesn't require you to have a static IP. It doesn't even require you to have a public IP. It works behind carrier grade NAT. It's secure. The tunnel is encrypted. Cloudflare manages all the SSL certificates for your site and all of that other protection that Cloudflare offers can be applied to it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is install Cloudflare D temporarily to get access to the CLI utility. So we're going to use nix shell p. And now what we're going to do is we're going to authenticate to our Cloudflare account. So we'll go Cloudflare tunnel login. This is going to bring up an URL that we will open. It'll bring us to our Cloudflare account. If you haven't already logged in, you would have seen a login screen here and then you just log in. Pick the domain that you want to use for this for your Cloudflare tunnel and authorize it. Now back in our terminal, the next thing we're going to do is create the tunnel. And we'll want to assign it a name here. I'm just going to use CF demo one. And we're just going to keep track of these over here in our little document here. And this is the UUID of the tunnel. We will need this later. So we'll put that there. You can also get it by looking in as the file will be named UUID.json. So the next thing we have to do is create our DNS entry and tell it to route through the tunnel. So we'll go Cloudflare D again, tunnel route DNS. And then we're going to put in our tunnel light UUID here. And then we're going to set up our subdomain off our main domain. So I'm going to use CF demo dot Y does nothing work. And that's going to create the DNS entry on your in Cloudflare, as well as tell any traffic to that to be routed through the tunnel. Now that, now that we've configured the Cloudflare side of things, let's start working on the NixOS side of things. So we can exit our temporary shell, and we're going to copy, make a place to put our credentials because you don't want to put those in in your Nix configuration.nix. It's generally not a practice. So I'm just going to create a Cloudflare folder in etc. Make sure it's owned by root. root. and make sure no one else can read it. And then we're gonna copy in our configuration file, which will be our UID. And this will give us a place to reference in our configuration.nix. Now let's open up our NixOS configuration. And I'm just going to show you this first. I have set up Nginx because so, we do need a service to expose. It's nothing special. It's listening on localhost on port 80, so there's no encryption. It's enabled, and it just points to a static HTML file, index.html. So. Very much nothing special. So we'll put that in here as well. It's going to be localhost. Now let's start configuring the Cloudflare service. I'm going to put it into a separate file rather than in my main NixOS configuration, just so it's easier to read, but you can absolutely put it in your main configuration. So we're going to go services.cloudflareD. or equals. And now let's set up our options for it. Enable equals true. And then we're going to define a tunnel. And now we're going to take our UID from before, which is our tunnel ID, put that in quotes, and now we're going to set up the credentials file equals That's our credentials file so that the tunnel can authenticate. Now we have to define 
the default action. You'll generally always use the same thing here unless you have a specific reason to otherwise, but it's HTTP 404, which means any requests that don't match one of your ingress rules, which we're about to get to, we'll just return a 404. Now we need to define our ingress rules. These all need semicolons, there we go, I'll fix that up. So the ingress rule is basically just whatever your domain that you configured for it was. So I'm gonna go cfdemo dot why does nothing work equals, and then where it's going to go to. So I'm gonna to go to HTTP and that's it. Let's save our file. And go into NixOS and we're gonna import that file that we just created. And we're gonna rebuild our system. Let's see how many typos I made, quite a few. Okay, two more. Needs to be credentials, and this should be tunnels with an S. And there we go. So now let's test it out. There we go, it is working, and you'll see that it is using HTTPS. Cloudflare is providing the certificate and handling all that for you. Thanks for watching.